Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here's what's going on. In today's edition of the Brazil Times, the house fire victim says smoke detectors saved their family. Smoke detectors are being credited for a Brazil family escaping a fire inside their home early Friday. According to Brazil City Fire Chief Jake Bennett, Michael Rabb's family, who rents the home at 527 South Levitt Street, reported they were awakened by the sound of the devices they had received from the fire department in January 2016. You know, this is an ongoing program of the fire department in the city of Brazil and now the Red Cross, and uh, they are encouraging everyone to have smoke detectors up to a maximum of three put in their residences. You can uh, get more information on that by calling the uh, fire department, the Brazil Fire Department, and uh, it's all free. And uh, so you want to uh, have those fire detectors in place uh, for uh, the safety of your homes. And also, Brazil Mayor Brian Windham is looking ahead to 2017 with plans in mind to build on what has already been accomplished in the city of Brazil. He will share his view of the state of the city during a speech to the Clay County Chamber of Commerce on January 24th at noon in the YMCA. Looking to the future, the mayor said Monday, one of the biggest projects will be to continue paving Brazil streets. He said the city has $2.1 million available to spend on that project. And he also said that uh, new sidewalks are going to be a priority in some areas. Uh, he said that most of the attention will probably be given to the north side of Brazil, although there will be uh, paving and new sidewalks other places as well. Sam Brown's here. Hi, Samuel. Glad to see you this morning. Also in the paper today, Ivy Jacobs reports a recent random act of kindness by a stranger helped a local family enjoy their Christmas dinner. I want to thank him very much for helping me and my family, Sharon Niece said Thursday. He helped make my family's Christmas a better one. It happened Monday, December 19th, around 11 a.m., and you can uh, read more about that in today's edition of the Brazil Times. Okay, and on the inside of the paper today, we have more good information for you. We have our obituaries that are up to date. Public records, in case you want to know what uh, some people have been up to that maybe they shouldn't. Jim Pickett's here. Hi, Jim. Glad to see you. And let's see, on the opinion page today, we've got the look back to January 1 through 7, 1970. Going to go back to the year I graduate. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to look back uh, a long time ago. Long, long time ago. And let's see here. We also have a column by Linda Messmer. Her columns are always popular. This year, or this uh, week, she's writing about building a bridge to a happy new year. So that's something that uh, is going on with Linda Messmer. In sports, Kerry Fox, our sports editor, reports Clay City overcame turnovers and the Clovers to start the year with a victory. And uh, also we've got, uh, we've got news from Indianapolis. I wish we had something definite to report from the Colts. But in case you're wondering what's going on with uh, Chuck Pagano, uh, we have a story in there from Indianapolis. Pagano ready to make his case to remain the Colts coach. And from what I've seen, uh, the general manager's job may be on the line as well. So we're keeping an ear to Indianapolis today. And uh, when we find out more about that, if we find out more today, we will post that right here on the website. So I want to tell you about this also. The city of Brazil wants you to have a say in the direction the city takes in the next two decades. The city is working to update its comprehensive plan to identify goals, policies, and action steps to guide the community for the next 20 years. Public input is vital to the plan, and city officials have organized a public workshop at Pappy's Barbecue, 111 East National Avenue, where all are invited to help plan Brazil's future. That's going to be from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Thursday, January 12th. So 
If you care about your city, be sure you turn out to Pappy's that night. No, you don't have to buy anything, but uh, your input is uh, definitely wanted. And while you're there, why don't you buy some food? It's one of the best places in town to eat. And uh, that's an unsolicited, unpaid testimonial. So I uh, wanted to pass that on to you today. The uh, Clay County Commissioners are meeting this morning at uh, 9 o'clock, about 24 minutes from now as I'm recording this, or as you see it live. And uh, then the uh, Clay County Council meets for the first time this new year tonight at uh, 6 o'clock in uh, the same room in the courthouse. And the Clay City Council is meeting tonight as well. That meeting gets underway at 7 o'clock. So. A lot of government uh, things going on for the new year, and uh, I'm sure that all three of those uh, groups will probably be selecting president, uh, secretary, and all that good stuff. Hey, I'm glad to see you today, and uh, we hope you're having an outstanding new year. This is Frank Phillips in the Brazil Times newsroom, and we'll catch you later. <laughs>